Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We got another banger for you here today. Uh, we're going to talk about the five sacks that the Ravens had against the uh, Broncos. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Hi, right, welcome back to the channel. And again, I'm your host, Coach Evans. Today, we're going to talk about the five sacks that the Ravens had versus the Denver Broncos. And off the top of my head, BK, Bowser 2, OA1, and Justin Houston. Those are the five guys that had sacks. Uh, let's get right into it. Take that off of this one. <laughs> so, um, first sack, I don't even remember who it is. Let's let it play and see what's going on. Hmm. First sack is Owe. And again, I'm still eating crow on it. So anybody that still want to talk smack or saying that because I said he didn't get any sacks. Yeah, I said it. But I apologize. I was wrong. Completely wrong. 100% wrong. All right. But here's Owe right here. Right there. So you got um, Bowser outside of him. Owe, you got it in a, was that a five, maybe a seven, and Bowser in a nine. Let's see. Let's, let's just focus on Owe and see what he does. Let's slow it down. Sometime today. All right, Bowser drops out of there, so the tackle is going to try to block Owe. He gets off the edge fast, getting ready to shoot his hands. Look at the position of his hands, right below his hips, getting ready to shoot him. He takes that, that right arm and extends it to the chest of the, the tackle. That way he's trying to keep that left arm free because if for some reason they run it, he has C-gap, he still has contain. Now it's obvious, it's obvious pass by now, though. It's obvious pass because the back... You know, went across to, to protect. Where the hell Queen going? I know this is about the sacks, but what is Queen doing? Oh, Queen trying to work the stunt. Okay, I see what you're trying to do, but he did it poorly. Queen trying to work the stunt. He did it poorly, though. And he got a hole. But anyway, back to Owe. So, um, comes off the edge. Now it's obvious pass. No pass for on that side. He just slaps that hand down. They just watch this violent rip. His right arm is on the right arm of the, the tackle, and the right arm of the tackle is flexed all the way out, so he has no stability in it. He's going to take that arm, get up between both of his, and just rip down. Watch. Rip it down and push it down. He grabbed the wrist with the left arm. I didn't see that at first. He got that right arm up between them, and he's going to grab the guy's wrist with the left arm. Push both of them down, and now he's free. Turn the jets on now. Clear for takeoff in three, two, one. Huge set. Huge set. If I'm not mistaken, that's his third sack of the year uh, after having none at um, Penn State. And I was wrong again. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. All right, it's going to play two. But we know it's not Owe because that was his sack. But it's Bowser. A oh, great move. Great move by Bowser. Let's go back to it. So, NFL.com's player for all 22 nines is, is a three letter word that start with A but we're going to try to make the most of it this is Bowser right here so watch watch the power once he get into this tackle watch the power watch how far the tackle goes back here it goes you're going to load up put him right down the middle Push him straight back. He steps on Bridgewater. That's a good boom. One, two. That's a good three and a half yards. He pushed the tackle back. Amazing power. And he got great leverage too. That's what helped him out. Set him up. Got him off balance. Got him in that. See right now, his feet, that foot right there is not on the ground. Excuse me. He got him exactly where he wanted him. That foot, that left foot is not on the ground. He got him. He caught him in between steps. Now what happens when you get caught in between steps? Why you always got to keep a foot on the ground? Got to always keep a foot on the ground as, as an old lineman. And these little, these little twinkle toe steps he's doing, he just got caught. Great power, pushing right into Bridgewater. Now Bridgewater is free. Well, free from protection. And Bowser's just going to finish the play. Try to escape. No, sir. Come back here. Get back here, Teddy Two Gloves. 
again, great, great. What's the word I'm looking for? Great tool in the toolbox because you, you don't have to have all spin moves. You don't have to have jump clubs. You just got to have a variety of things and, you, and use them at different situations. And the bull rush worked well for uh, Bowser in this one. Play three. Uh, so Bowser's still an option. I think Houston is the last one. So this is either Bowser again or um, Matabike. Here's Matabike. All right. Matabike starts at the, is it the nose or the, the three? I can't remember. Let's see. Let me see. I think he's the three. Yeah, he's the three. Matabike is right here. I think he's the three. And if not, we'll adjust. All right. So he, if, yeah, I think this is Matabike. Let's focus right there. Takes on the guard. He got a one-on-one -on -one block with the guard. He tries an initial. What's this initial move? Tries to slap. He tries. He takes his left wrist, left hand, left arm, and tries to slap the the, the right arm of the guard to to go by. That misses, and the guard puts his left hand on him. So now he's coming with the secondary move. He takes that right arm and puts it right right on the neck line of the guard, and watch him push him out the way. Look, look at him in a stand. Look at him. Let me go back. Watch this extension and get the guard off of him. Right there. Extended the whole arm. And now, look at the gap integrity. I know it's a pass play, but look at the gap integrity if it was a run. And look just look what he's doing to the guard with one arm. Got him off now. I can see what's going on. It's obvious pass now, so let me do what I can to get to the quarterback. So he takes his left arm and now uses it to push further to the QB and, and close the pocket. So all he's doing now is, okay, it's pass. At this point, it's pass. Let me close his pocket and get as close to the QB as possible. He does that. Now he can get that, that free arm. He gets a hand on Drew Locke, and it was just enough to pull him down. Just enough to pull him down. Sag matter BK. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Consistent, consistent pressure, uh, constantly working, not giving up on the set. And, you know, if I had the other one, it would probably be good coverage downfield, too. Just constantly working. Just keep working. But the thing I want y'all to notice is, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I ain't going to say that. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Let this go by. All right, so go to the next sack. This is sack number four. This sack is, this is Bowser's other sack. So, okay, Bowser is here on the left side, right side, way over here. Mm. Just speed. Speed in a better angle. That's all. Speed in a better angle. So this um 81 is supposed to come underneath. And anything that shows up, he's supposed to block him, then slip into the flats. That's what he's supposed to do. If nothing shows up, he's just gonna slip right into the flats. Are they gonna play action stretch and try to slip underneath it? Bowser has a great angle. Great angle. Because he knows. I don't know exactly what the scheme is, but this guy coming across is not his responsibility. He's a quarterback player, especially since that guy, this guy right here blocked down. He's a quarterback player, so he should go as deep as the quarterback go, which is what he does. He made his angle go straight to the QB. The guy that was supposed to chip him, maybe get in the flats, couldn't get there. Easy set. Easy set. Just don't let him get away. Easy. Too easy. Didn't, didn't have to use a move. Just... Did his fundamentals. When you got that backside, when you got that backside edge gap, you got the quarterback. Whether it's read option or whatever, you got the quarterback, and you go deep as the quarterback is. Especially if he if he roll or, or try to stretch or do some kind of handoff away from you. And that way, when he turn around, you hit him in the mouth. He ain't quite hit him in the mouth, but he got the sack. That, that they teach you that in seventh, eighth grade. At least they supposed to. Last sack. This is uh, Houston. Houston is standing here. Let's see what he does. Taking the guard, the same guard that uh, Matter BKB earlier. Light work. Light work. Light work by Justin Houston, the crafty vet. So he goes to try to get a, the, the guard a little, eh, eh, a little crossover move. 
didn't really work, didn't have enough space to do it. So now he's just going to push him off and find what's going on. Push him back. Quarterback tries to step up. And he basically just, you just don't rush past the QB. Let them outside guys go past the QB and you kind of keep your lane. And when he step up, be there. That's all it was. Lock tried to scramble. Sack for a minus one. And initially when this happened, I thought it was uh, um, may have been a rush. When I saw it was minus one, I was like, yep, fifth sack. Fifth sack. And let me go back and give you the point I was about to make that I kind of cut off a minute ago. So let's go back to play one. All right, so obviously we got a sack on all these plays, right? Let's see how many we bring. I also want you to notice. See how many we bring on all five of these sacks. One, two, three, four, five. And you got you got a stunt right here. So that you got five on that one. So we got pressure with five. All right, this next sack, which is um Bowser. Let's see how many we bring. All right, you got one, two, three. I don't know if Queen is spying the running back or what. So we ain't gonna count Queen just yet. Let me let me roll it. But for right now, that's four. And Queen not coming, so that's pressure with four. See, because Queen got the back. That's pressure with we got pressure with four. A next set. We just made a BK. Alright, he dropped out, so we got one. Two, three, four. Pressure with four again. Check out sack number four. And this play pass, so you really, it's kind of tough to say because it's play pass, but let's just say that they coming anyway. You got one, two, three, four, and bows out the edge, that's five. And the last sack, you got... I only bring in four. One, two, three, four. So we've been clamoring for two years about Wink not blitzing and finding a way to get pressure with, with four or less. It's starting to happen. It's starting to happen. We're starting to get pressure with four and starting to, to help the back in and out so they, and we ain't got the blitz and they ain't got the cover so long all the time. So with Oway and Houston and Bowser and Campbell and the other guys up there, Matt BK, we're starting to get pressure with four. And so... I think as the season grows on and they get better at it, we, the, def the defensive backs will get better at it, especially as um, the tall corner, uh, I forget his name, as he comes back. I know Peters is not coming back. And they'll just get better because there's a lot of young DBs back there. But getting pressure with four is is tremendously better on the defense than blitzing five, six, seven guys all the time. Even though I think one of these clips had five, five ain't bad, but if you can get pressure with four, that means you got seven people trying to cover, pretty much trying to cover four to five guys. That's awesome. That's awesome. And the DBs we got, the linebackers we got, we should be able to cover people up, you know, unless they just demons. But again, this is just the, what, five-sack video for the Baltimore Ravens versus the Denver Broncos. You had, um, Oway with a sack, which I think is his third. Houston with a sack. Bowser with two sacks. And Matt BK with a sack. And I appreciate you guys for coming out and watching this. Um, this is your second video of the week. May try to squeeze the third out. Can't promise you that. But you could have been anywhere in the world. But you chose to be here with me. I appreciate you. Coach Evan with Simply Tatted Films. Peace.